everybody. What you doing? Turning the sound up on this. Whoops, there we go. All right. How y'all doing tonight? It's Friday night. Jeez. There were Friday nights when we used to get together and laugh and carry on in our pajamas and stuff like that. So I'm pretty getting, I've had so much energy the last couple of days. I've gotten so much done. And I just, um, I just feel, hmm, most of it is my purse, not, not in the craft room, but um, I was, my laundry, I did laundry for four days, and I was doing some in my little washer and dryer, and then some in the, the community washer and dryer down the hall, and it was, um, wore me out. I had set the sheet from being sick for three weeks and having accidents and stuff like that. I just had all those sheets to wash and towels and and nightgowns and stuff like that. So yes, yeah, so I'm I'm feeling mighty good. The old lady is feeling good. So I have a few things to share with you tonight. Um I was going to I had a few gotten some um, squares in for Boggy Creek, and if you all don't know, I'm collecting six-inch squares for Boggy Creek Camp for the kids, and specific um, for St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, and Halloween. I know I probably should pick another one, but I wanted to, I, I had, um, let me see if I've got it, I know I wrote it down. Because I looked all this stuff up the other day because I wanted to see how many. Okay. They say that they have the sessions at the creek are around 150 kids. Okay. And of those 150 kids, there's usually around um, 10 to 15 kids in a cabin. And there's usually at least three to five counselors in each cabin. So you've got close to maybe 16 in a cabin. So my goal w was to see if I could get, now that there's 16 cabins, they said, right? Okay. 10 to 15 per cabin, and then two to three counselors, or three to five counselors, and there's 16 cabins. Now, I don't know if all of that, I remember they, they're they numbered by color. There's a yellow cabin, red cabin, blue cabin, you know, your primary care uh, colors. Um, so I would say, let's just say if there's 150, there must be at least, at least 12. 10 to 12 in each cabin because it says 10 to 15 per cabin. So, and I have made 54 blankets, 55, 56 blankets now. I got two more that I made yesterday. And um, my gold is 100. I don't know if I'll make 100. Yeah, I went like gangbusters and then <clears throat> the squares kind of slowed down coming in. And then I had a lot of just plain colors, which I asked for, but then they forgot I need the, the you know, different colors and, you know, things on them to, to match up, you know, to, to put on, to, to mingle them together, right? So, so I've been trying to put them together. I've sewed some, if you send me some decals, that would be nice, because if I have a lot of solids, I can put some decals on there. So uh, I got some uh, Halloween ones from Lynette from Charm Grammy, and they're so cute with the, you know, you saw them uh, in my last video. So I've got that stack plus um, another five or six. So I'm trying, it takes me about 35 six-inch squares to, um, to make a blanket, right? Five times seven is 35. Okay, so it's 35. And then I put a border on it. It depends on how it comes out, whether I have to make a, a, 
small border or a large border. If they're true six inches, I don't have to put a, a big border on it, which is nice. Uh, some of them are, are less than six inches, and I have to fudge them. And I try to fudge the six with the five. Or Now, I did do, and I, oh, yeah, is that the one I did? I think the one I'm going to show you, the one I'm going to show you that I did last night is a mixture of fives and sixes. That I had a lot of five, pretty five, and I just didn't want to give them up. So what I did was kind of um, try to balance the six inches and the five inches together. Well, let me show you the blanket, and then you can see. Oops. It was this one. And you can see it's not... See, so this... This... Um, like the one in the middle here, this is like five, a little over five, and the other four are six inches. And aren't they cute? Look at the one with the green in the middle, and then then the six inches here for two, and then this is five. So yeah, so here's here's the um, I just I loved I loved it I loved it. isn't that pretty. So what I did here was I did um, I did a row of the bur the deep burgundy color just a double crochet and then I you I got I had some of this I had bought some um, someone was getting rid of some yarn oh it wasn't Kim oh gosh I can't remember what her name was anyway it had this uh, white sparkly stuff in it. So I used the white sparkly with a white, just a plain white um, thread, and I just did a half double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet. I mean, double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet, sing no half double. Half double is my favorite. I substitute half double for single crochet. But anyway, it came out nice, I think. I like it with all the fun. Because this is fuzzy here and here, but I don't have the real soft, so this will probably soften up. But anyway, I thought it gave it a nice, a nice um, trim there. So yeah, so I did that one. And of course, that's the burgundy and yellow colors with a little hint of green. I think my sense of color comes from my painting years back in the early 2000s and then I did this is a Christmas one yep I got there we go so I had a lot of and God I'm telling you somebody just sent me the most gorgeous smelling mm. you, and it doesn't bother me it really doesn't most perfumes or whatever would just you know kind of knock me out but oh god it smells so good uh oh you know who just came into the room so we're just being real casual tonight i'm not being real so anyway so these are the two that i did yesterday i have one you know to tell you the truth i spend more time laying out the patterns than I do putting it together. Putting it together is a piece of cake. And people ask, how do you do that? Well, I'm telling you, I use half double crochet on every stitch. And I, I do a row of half double, you know, connecting the half double crochets and then the next row half double crochet. And then you go the other way with half double crochet. But it just, that's the way I do it. And um, and the reason I do the half double crochets is because of the sizes. Now, if you get a small one, sometimes I can stretch that out to meet to meet the smaller or the larger one. So that I can work better with a half double crochet connection than I can with any others. So that's what I that's my jam. That's what I do. Okay. Oh, I want to let y'all know. I sold my little my little purse 
I have it here. I'm getting ready to wrap it in paper, and I'm, I want it to go in the mail tomorrow. So, yes, I sold it. I was so tickled. And uh, a lady is buying it for her granddaughter. God, I hope she doesn't watch this. I don't think so. But I just think it's adorable. I just love it. And this was made, it crocheted with cotton. But uh, this was not 24-7 cotton, which is my favorite for doing purses. I can't remember what, what it was. But anyway, I was trying to use up some of my stuff. All right, let's look at some of the, I got, now this is a box that I got. I do know that I think it's from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I could never say that name when I was growing up. I said Massachusetts, and it's Massachusetts, or whatever. I probably still can't say it right. Okay. Uh, she uh, did not leave her name. She wrote me a nice note, which she did wanted me to read it off by myself, which I did. I got this today. And I, you all just don't know the passion I have for these. For this stitch here. I love this stitch. The front post. Oh, this is a drop down. Oh, I love this. Look. Look at, she said orange. Isn't that orange pretty? Oh, I can't see where the camera is. There. Isn't that pretty? So we have four oranges. And we have some purple. Look at that. She dropped down. Okay, I got you. I got you, girlfriend. I like that very much. It's one of my favorites. And we've got a red. We got four reds. <laughs> you think I've been, been teetotaling it here. Four reds, two purples, and we got four greens. I love greens. Thank you so much. So we have Christmas and Halloween. Put that there and St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Look, that's a little different. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Miss Mash Shushish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put that there. Oh, I went, to, I went to the garbage pit three times today, taking big bags of trash, you know, from um, people sending stuff and all this stuff. Now, this is from Emily Jones from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Miss Emily. In fact, I think, Emily, I got an email from you today. And, yes, I did receive your package this week. It had to have been sent when or whenever I did my last video. And I got a whole bunch here. Thank you, thank you. Oh, nice size too. Look at that. Green and orange. White and green. Lovely, lovely. And an orange and green. Oh. Have you sent me some before? Because this looks so familiar. That is green. That's sort of a green and a gold color. We got red, and that matches the blanket here that I just just did. Oh, good. We got a oh, and here's the red. <laughs> I got excited when I saw the pumpkin. She said the cute little pumpkin. I'm gonna put that aside because I'm get, I'm doing um I'm doing a Halloween one right now, and then there's the orange. It is orange in here. It's coming out so light. And then here's a variegated one. Thank you so much, Emily. I love this. I love this. And then I got a box. And it says Boggy Creek Squares, Christmas and St. Day. And this is from New Hampshire. And it's C. Botel, B O U T E L L. But look how neat this is. I haven't opened it. I haven't opened it yet. Let me go. Look at this. How neat. Look at this. <laughs> oh, gosh. So neat. Get the air out. She 
made 35 squares, each for Christmas and St. Patrick. Hope this helps with the blankets that you want to make for Boggy Creek this year. I'll make other Boggy Creek blankets this year to help with the goals of 2025. I was sending those into Juan when they are finished. Hope you have a great day. Chelsea! Thank you, Chelsea. Yes, Juan is a lot closer to you. Yes, oh my gosh, look at this. All right, right here. And these are green and yellow. <laughs> They're pretty. I love them, just perfect. I'm doing yellow and yellow and white and green now, so this is perfect. Just absolutely perfect. And we'll put those over here. And then we have a stack of green ones. Look at this, green and white. And we have green with, oh, look at, oh. These, oh my gosh, look, we can make a, I made, oh, geez. Well, anyway, but anyway, we could do something with this. Lovely, 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 just lovely. And here's some yellow, yellow and white. And I could, oh my gosh. This will go with this blanket I'm making now. White. Oh my gosh, you crazy girl. And it's got a whole stack of red. And and she does the neatest job. They're just neat. They're just, and then she leaves the little string. And then when, um, sometimes when I, uh, sew them together, I just incorporate the string in with it, and it looks fine, and I think she might have a cat, or a dog, just saying, I love my cats and my dogs, and this is green, good for St. Patrick's and Christmas, look at these, here's another stack of white, All right, all right, and here we have reds and greens, and these are all got designs on them, red and green. I hate that one. It doesn't show the color that well. I don't know what happened. Green and red, red and white. Green and white, red and white, white, and then we got four corners again. Or is this the four corners I had before? No. Oh, yes, we got the green and the red. These are the see now. I'll maybe put these as four together, four together, and then and then do a, yes, I could do that. I wonder if any of the others want that. Oh my. That'll go with that. No, I think it's just those. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So I'm going to enjoy this. Okay. So I got to clean up the space to put these. Thank you so much. This is absolutely wonderful. And I'm sure that whatever you make for Boggy Creek, the blankets, they're going to be well received. And I know you'll do a great job because I can tell by the, by your, um, how nice your squares are. And that's all that I received. So that'll keep you busy for a while, right? Now, you probably think, well, Billy, is that all you do is squares and, and these blankets? No. Sometimes I try other things. Well, I was going to sh I didn't mean to undo this, but I had this pattern, pattern. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. It's called the Kinsley Cardigan, and it's by the Easy Design Company. It's just an easy, as you can see, it drops down, you know, 
And I said, I'm going to make something for myself. And I'll make it out of cotton and cotter ends. And it'll be fine. So I went and it has all the measurements and all that good stuff. So it says, now this is what it says. And this is where it gets you sometimes. It says um, a 3XL. Uh, it says the bus lines for 3XL is 47 and 49. Well, that's not true. My bus line is 60. Okay? So that's 30, 30, 60. And then it says here that you make it with an H hook. So I said, wait a minute. Now, 3XL. So if I use an I hook, okay, make an I hook. And it says for a 3X to chain 241. I used an eye hook. And you start, you do the top down. So it includes the sleeves at the top. And then you block off your, uh, your sleeve. And then you do the rest for the back. Well, I could reach it further than my wingspan. And when I put the back across my back, Across my front, it met. It crossed. <laughs> so I frogged it. And now I'm going to start over. And I'm going to go with H hook. Now I don't know if the cotton, it's a soft cotton, it's that sugar wheel cotton. And I have a whole bunch of this that was given to me over the last couple of years. And I said, well, I'm going to make a, a, a little jacket of many colors. That way it goes with anything I want, right? So I started out with this teal color. It's called Pacific. Well, it's sort of a sea foam, I guess, but it's Pacific. And it was just huge. I said, oh, my God, that's just not going to work. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over again. And I... You know, sometimes when I get tired of squares, I like to have something that's a no-brainer that I can just go in and just, you know, just needle away and not think about it. And this is a two-row two, two row repeat. So it's easy. It's peasy. It's, you know, it's chain a couple and, you know, all that good stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to give it another try. I pulled out things that will go with the, this specific herb teal color and blues and, I don't know, a bunch of other colors that goes with it. And we'll see how it comes out. I might have, should not have started with this color. I do have that comfy cotton. I don't think they make it anymore, but it's a multicolored one. It's in the other room. Everything's in the other room. Wherever I go, it's always in another room. Not in my room. It's in the other room. So anyway, I'm going to, I might whip, try to whip on this tonight, um, and I might start with another color. Maybe this is just, just too drapey or something. I need something that's got a little bit more, I mean, I'm going to use it, but I think my begin because it's going to go, you start from the top down, you do that back panel with the sleeves, and then you do your two front panels. So you have the upper panel, and then that's no, that's the back panel. Where the heck is the front? Oh, oh, and then you continue. I've got it. The shoulder line, see, and then you continue on on each side. Yeah, I've made it. I might have made this before. It's so familiar. So, and I'm going to make it longer. I'm not going to make the short one. I'm going to make it longer. So now I've practically got it memorized. So I'm. that's what I'm going to do. That's what I have worked on. And then I'm going to take that with me. If I don't get it done by October, take that to the beach with me. And then I ran. Here's my other dilemma. <laughs> Boy, do I have dilemmas or what? So this was in the bathroom in the bathroom. <laughs> I forgot all about it. This is a pattern right here. 
And it is a two-row repeat. I like two-row repeats. And I'm doing it in the Yarn B Sweet Divinity. Now, I know they've discontinued this. I had a whole bunch of this that different people gave me. And I said, well, I want to make it. So uh, Kim uh, from the Grateful Yarn Addict, she was on the cruise with us. So anyway, she sent me the recipe. And down here is where I figured out how wide, how long, all that good stuff that I wanted this to be. So I dug it out, and I started working on it. And I thought, something is wrong. And so I sort of brought one end to the other end. And it's cockeyed. Reason being, I can't remember what size hook I I didn't put it on a piece of paper. I didn't put it on a little wait a minute. Oh, I've, I've got a little thing here, but it doesn't have I don't know what size. I have no idea what size. That's like I've lost my K book. I don't know where that K book is. I thought maybe if I wrote it somewhere, but I don't think I did. Um, uh, such a pain in the butt. So anyway, but do you think I'm going to rip this? You are so wrong. I'm going to keep this and let's see. This is the bottom. And this will be the top. So that'll go up this way. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm still going to do the length. The length I'm going to do is 34 inches. Is that right? 34 inches? 36 inches. 36 inches, 34 wide for the back, and each panel is going to be 17, and then a little edging if I do any edging to it. So now i got to figure out if I want to go what hook. I thought it was the green one, but I don't know. So I really kind of screwed up. I might rip back a few, a few. I think all I have to do is maybe rip back three or four. And then figure out what, um, and then I'll write it down, you know, what size hook I'm using. But yes, Kim, I'm still working on it, darling. Thank you so much. And when she sent this to me, which was in um, August of 2022, that I've had this little piece of paper, and I did 243 yards. I figured everything out. I just didn't put the size. You won't believe how many times I've looked at this piece of paper looking for the size of the um, hook I used, and I didn't write it down. And even she didn't say what size hook she used. So hook size is not available. Um, she used, oh, she used one and a half skeins of Shaw in a ball. I have a lot of Shaw in a ball. I probably should get that out and make that. Anyway, it's light and lacy without being with being nothing but chain. It's great. How do I how to add sleeves? Yeah, I know how to, yeah. She she knew I knew how to do that. The only trouble is I don't know how to track what size needle I work I use. So that's another project that I'm gonna to try to work on. And also my knitting, I pulled out my um, poncho that I was working on. And I'm knitting the other side. I finally figured out the pattern because you had to pick up, you know, pick up all 77 stitches. And then I had to figure out where I should start and get the pattern rolling like it was. There's a little bit of a, a little something there. But that's all right. I got the pattern going. So I have that sitting next to me to pick up every now and then. So, yeah, so it's just not squares. I got other things. I just don't have anything in product, in product to show you. But, and then I lost my L hook. I guess I said that, didn't I? And I'm, I bet if I look through some of these bags, the things that I've started, that um, it could be in one of those. I did not put a hook. If I put a hook in that bag, I don't know. 
I don't remember doing it, but I don't remember what I did 10 minutes ago. So anyway, I'm getting thirsty. Also, I want to say I'm going to send out emails to the ladies that are coming to the retreat next month. Can you believe it? It's almost a month away, a little over a month away. And um, I'm getting really excited. I've been working on it and uh, getting a little help here and there. So I don't have to worry about it all myself. So, yeah, I've done a lot of research. So I'm going to get an email out to everybody and we'll go from there. All right. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. I've got some stuff here I have to work on. And I want to say that um, that if there's anything that I've made that has, has come apart or doesn't look right, I know that there, uh, some of the fabric that came in the kits, the, some of the fabrics were very thin and flimsy and it was a little bit hard in um, sewing it. <clears throat> but if you have a problem, let me know and I'll be happy to fix it. Or if it's a handle on one of those bags that already has the, um, um, you know, the, the cord, you know, already has a handle on it and the fabric's wrapped around it, um, you can you can just um, take a rip uh, a seam ripper and just rip those those covers off of that, and then you would have the handle. So it's not like the whole handle is going to break. And maybe that the tension between the because I was using regular cotton and then I switched to uh, nylon, and it could be the rubbing of the cotton and the nylon causes the friction, and it didn't catch right when I was sewing it. So that could be it, too, because that was kind of hard to use. So anyway, there's always, you know, it, I hope that um, I don't want people to be unhappy. But if you do have a problem with anything I made, please, uh, please let me know. Um, come to me, not somebody else. I would appreciate that. I think that's common courtesy. So please do that. That would be that would be that would make me happy to uh, to get it fixed or to tell you how to fix it. So, or you can ship it to me, and I'll be happy to fix it up for you. Um, I could replace it with other that I the, the fabric that I know is good. I always use um, cotton and some of the stuff that these little kits that I made um, that came in there is made of a different stuff than the stuff I use. I'm not making any excuses. I'm just saying. You know, it, it, um, I think that's why I put the, uh, the strap inside of that wrap so that it would be more doable because I knew that that fabric was, wouldn't last that long. So anyway, <clears throat> I guess that's why I did it. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, I'm feeling good. Um, Abby, Abby, she's, she's feeling good. She's sitting down here by my foot. Um, we took a little nap this morning. I think she wants to nap again. She just loves napping. Okay, everybody, please take care. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Um, I've shown all my blankets except for these two on Boggy Creek. Don't forget Boggy Creek Blanket Brigade on Wednesday uh, at 8 o'clock. Uh, Nancy's still on vacation, but those blankets, they still have to be open. So everyone will be there. So be there or be square. That's what I say. Wise. Well, uh, let's see. What is word of what? What is my, the old owl, the old wise owl is telling me tonight? I don't know. The only thing I can say is Oh, I forgot to tell you something here. I I guess you all know that I'm, I'm getting older. Well, we all are getting older. But I'm really getting older. So in February, this coming February, I will be 80 years old. So I reached out to my sister, and, um, and I 
told her I really thought it would be a good idea for us to do something together. We haven't in many, many years. Many, I mean many years. Probably the so many years that I can't even remember how far back. But I thought it would be just the two of us and we'd go on a cruise together. So today I got a really good deal and I signed up for a cruise for my birthday. My birthday's on the 13th and we leave on the 9th. So I we will be at sea. Um, I think it's a Thursday that is the 13th. So I will be selling my birthday on the ship. And um, so I'm going to have to make a bunch of birthday things and put them on our door. That's a good idea. That'll be exciting. And my sister's a lot of fun. And I just think, uh, I think we'll have a good time. I really do. And she um, she likes to play cards and, and board games and stuff like that, or used to. I don't know if she, I think she does. And bingo and all that stuff. I think we'll have, um, you know, a lot of things that we can do on the ship together. And um, so I'm really, really, I mean, really looking forward to it. I had asked my friend Deb to go with me, and um, and I know she'll understand because she knows this will probably be a um, once-in-a-lifetime trip for me and my sister. So I'm really looking forward. She lives here in Sarasota, and um, right up the road, about 25 miles. So, um, yeah, So and I think she's going to come to the um, – the retreat, um, I don't know if y'all know or not, but we had, uh, I had like three people that canceled on me there at the last minute within days of making the deposit. So I had a couple, I had three spaces left and I got a response to one. So I had two left. So I went ahead and just, you know, uh, put in the money myself and, um, and I, and I, I said, well, I'll just take them the big bedroom and then and then I invited my sister and my friend Deb to come. Um so yeah. So that'll be fun. That'll be a nice time with friends and new friends and old friends and Zoom friends and all that stuff. It's gonna be a really nice, nice thing. I've been looking up things and places and all that good stuff or just sitting around you know, getting ideas and stuff, and I've been, um, my friend Joanne Barnes has volunteered to help with the menu for the luau, so I'm working on the decorations and stuff, so yeah, so we're going to have a good time, I think, I think it's going to be a really good time, which reminds me, I should end this, because I need to get a, uh, an email out to all the all the retreat girls, the luau on the beach. Luau on the beach, baby. Here we come. I did not do shirts um, this time. And I guess because a lot of people do wear their shirts, but I, I didn't do shirts this time. A little late in the game, and I couldn't find anybody to help me with the design. Well, I did find somebody, but we just didn't, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And and the design that I wanted um, was going to cost me money. And I thought, eh, I didn't want to do that either. So I am looking for shirts that might have the hibiscus on it. And then I could take the shirts and paint a hook on it. <laughs> I'll just sit there and paint a paint hooks on it. <laughs> Crochet hooks. <laughs> I don't see why I couldn't do that. I could do it with fabric paint. That would be fun. I have to. I have been looking. But God, it gives me a headache looking at all that. <laughs> but I'll have everybody send me their size anyway. So we'll see. So anyway, that's the beginning. I even picked up the bag, little um, little gift bags that people people make things and they want to you know hand them out to people. So you put them in a little bag so they have their name on it. Yes, we have that. Then we're making some stuff for for Boggy Creek. So that'll be fun. So anyway, um, I'm going to go. Have a great weekend, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Keep hooking, everybody. <laughs>